More than a dozen officials from several different agencies worked together to recover the victim's body, and that also included a helicopter helping to access the remote location more than six miles behind me. A team comprised of search and rescue and members of the Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center gathered early Thursday using a helicopter to access the difficult terrain of where the slide was triggered Wednesday afternoon. After investigating, it appears that Gibson, along with two other snowmobilers, triggered the slide. When conditions are that unstable, it's fully possible to trigger that entire slope from, from the bottom. And so they were probably playing it as safe as they could, think that the, you know, thinking that they weren't actually in avalanche terrain because they were playing on these meadows at the base of the slope. But with conditions that unstable, they were able to trigger the, the slide down there, and they even said they, they were just blindsided. They didn't even see it coming. And this significant instability contributed to the slide that caught and buried all three, with one survivor able to pull himself out using a tree. And the teamwork of more than a dozen officials helped make sure everyone was safe during Thursday's recovery. When you have avalanche conditions, you take people that know what they're doing and are the best in the world at what they're doing. And we have, we have the fortunate condition here that we have some of the best in the world at doing that kind of work. From start to finish, it took about five hours to move the victim's body from the avalanche zone and the quiet weather on Thursday, a big help in creating the successful recovery. Outside of Big Sky, I'm Adam Bell, MTN News.